Heavy rain and thunderstorms are wreaking havoc across China, with floods along major rivers destroying bridges and forcing thousands of residents to evacuate, causing direct economic losses of 29 billion yuan. Nearly 180,000 people from 52 county-level regions in southwest China's Guizhou province were affected by floods as the province has been hit by torrential rains with direct economic loses of 340 million yuan. Three Gorges Dam overflow. State television said 240 rivers in 24 provinces had flooded in the last few days and bringing water volumes in the giant Three Gorges Reservoir close to record levels. A total of 1,500 houses have collapsed or were severely damaged and 44,000 houses needed repair across the province. In Hunan, reeling from floods triggered by torrential rains which began on August 31st, the death toll hit 96 with 38 missing. Meanwhile, the nearby city of Chongqing evacuated more than 80,000 residents by Friday. Floods in the province had caused damage to the tune of about 2.4 billion yuan. In Guangxi, at least one person was killed as heavy rains pounded 23 counties, forcing more than 14,000 locals to be evacuated. Parts of Guangxi's Nanning and Guilin were under 80 centimeters of water after 200 millimeters of rain fell on the region. Weather authorities are forecasting more downpours throughout the country on Tuesday, with floods and landslides expected in the southwestern province of Sichuan. Meteorological data show that Guizhou has witnessed three regional rainstorms with an average precipitation of 236 mm and over 400 mm in some areas, a period with the highest rainfall in history since 1961. The flood-prone Yangtze River, which runs from Yunnan in the southwest to Jiangsu and Shanghai on the east coast, has seen a massive increase in water volumes, causing flooding in many of its tributaries. Guizhou has set up 40 temporary relocation sites for the affected residents, the Provincial Department of Emergency Management said. that more than 10 highways in Sichuan were inaccessible as a result of flooding, and a bridge across Sichuan's Min River, a Yangtze tributary, had collapsed. <laughs> Guizhou requires the restoration and reconstruction of the houses, as well as the resettlement of residents whose houses cannot be rebuilt, to be completed by the end of the year. Heavy rain has also caused the Yellow River, which runs through northern China, to burst its banks, blocking a section of a railway line in the northwest province of Shanxi. Typhoon Haiku, with a speed of 140 kilometers, hit China, destroying 3,452 houses and, and forced 16,000 others to be evacuated, local authorities said. The typhoon has affected more than 3 million people and caused economic losses of more than 9 billion yuan. Shanghai was lashed by a typhoon-triggered rainstorm, with maximum precipitation approaching 120 mm in some areas. Haikui is the third typhoon to wallop China's eastern coast in a week, after storms Saula and Damri hit the region over the weekend. In Dongling Village, Anji County, Zhejiang Province, Haikui left 1,538 tourists stranded. Two people died and seven were injured by typhoon-triggered accidents in Shanghai, according to the city's flood control and draft relief headquarters. The provincial flood control and draft relief headquarters said that 170,500 people in the province have been relocated 
and more than 17,567 ships were ordered to return to port before the rain began. But roads in the village remain blocked and the drinking water facilities there have been destroyed, forcing tourists and the villagers to drink the rainwater.